family a very warm welcome to my new subscribers now if you're active on any social media platform you probably already know where i'm heading with this video we live in a time where if you don't post something on social media it either didn't happen or it wasn't really good we all have that one person or two or three <laughs> that we see on on social media and we feel like their lives are so good they're living this glamorous lives um, their, 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 their outfits are out of this world they're traveling and going to these places they look so good they don't even have a single zit on their skin you know we have that one person if you tell me you don't have that one person and you're active on social media you're a liar anyway I'm just here to tell you that for most people they have uh, an internet life and the real life now the internet life is the life you want people to see or the life you just choose to show to the public and then the real life is well the real life which is not as glamorous as it looks on Instagram on Facebook on snapchat and that's what we're here to talk about today now I'm not here to throw any shade but social media has become a place where we feel the need to prove to people we don't even know that we're doing so well that our lives are so great that our eyebrows are so perfect <laughs> now i'm not even against posting on social media i mean i post on my on all my social media on my instagram on my snapchat things that i'm doing places i'm traveling you know but we need to take everything we see on social media with a pinch of salt you know don't go out there feeling like your life sucks because someone is posting this um lovely bag and these expensive shoes and this perfect relationship many of us are arguing day in day out in our marriages in our relationships but then i'm gonna put a hashtag tomorrow marriage goals husband goals and you know you're gonna fall for it and feel like i need to get a man like that i need to get a house like that apparently people are even posting um Things that don't belong to them. People are posting cars and saying they're theirs and they're not theirs. I don't know why someone would go that far to prove something to God knows who, but yeah. I don't know how we got there, but this is where we are now. And how we deal with it is what's going to determine what we get out of it. Take everything you see on social media with a pinch of salt. And even as you post, think about it. Am I posting this because I need to prove to X that I'm doing as good as they're doing or even better than they're doing. Am I posting this to just share some positivity, to just share bits of my lives with friends and relatives who live far away? Why are you on social media anyway? Why are you on social media? What's the essence of that post you are making, you know, with all these hashtags that are going crazy of late? <laughs> crazy what social media is doing to us so um some people even argue that why why do people post only the good stuff on social media well personally i feel like it makes sense why should i post when i'm ironing when i'm fighting with my siblings or my husband why should i post when you know when bad things are going on in my life i mean of course you want to spread positivity so it's not like you're trying to hide anything but you're just posting the good stuff because i mean what is life if we don't have those good things going on in our life then what is life right but let's be um a little careful with how we post speaking of posting the good and the bad social media has also made people lose all all shame people post their lives on facebook on instagram and just bear themselves naked Bearing themselves naked, I mean, washing your dirty linen in public, posting your deeper and innermost intimate things, you know. Intimate things and secret things are relative, of course, to everyone. For someone posting a picture of them and their child, some people don't post their children on, on social media because they believe it's something private. So privacy is, 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 in, is, is relative. I'm not going to tell what is, more, what is private to who and, and, you know, what they should or shouldn't post. But I think that also, as we post on social media we should think about the fact that this stuff never comes back the internet never forgets so once you put it out there it's out and it's gone careful the things we put out there on social media anyway the main reason why I made this video was to say that social media and real life can be 
two totally different things so while you're out there getting crazy with all these goals goals everything goals career goals and all this stuff just think about what the reality is if the life you portray on social media is actually your life good for you keep doing that but if the life you portray on social media is the life you actually wish you had or the life you're trying to convince the world you have but you don't actually have i think it's high time you sat back and worked on getting that that imaginary life instead of posting it on social media where it doesn't exist you know <laughs> that's all i'm here to say. so tell me what you think about this whole social media craze do tell me and don't forget to follow me on my social media Linda Tina TV on Instagram Linda Tina 87 on snapchat and see you in my next video have a good one bye bye don't forget to subscribe <laughs>